It's no surprise that fans of The Witcher novels and video games were excited by the news of The Witcher TV series. But how well do Netflix's characters compare to their book and video game counterparts? And which one caused the most controversy among fans? Keep watching to find out. Most fans know that DCEU's Superman, Henry Cavill, plays the titular role of The Witcher. However, not everyone knows that Cavill is also a Witcher superfan. It was his passion for the franchise that finally convinced showrunner Lauren Schmid Pissrick to cast Cavill as Geralt of Rivia. Though some fans may have been made skeptical by the news at first, once Cavill first appeared on the screen, there was no question in anyone's mind that he was perfect for the role. It certainly helped that Geralt's look took a lot of inspiration from CD Projekt Red's popular video game series. Donning a long white wig and yellow contact lenses, Cavill's look is quite similar to Geralt from the game franchise. There are a few clear differences, however. For instance, Geralt in the games has a distinct scar over his left eye. The video game Geralt also appears to be at least a decade older than Cavill. Of course, Witchers age slower than normal humans, so we can forgive the actor for his younger looks. Whether fans prefer Cavill's Geralt or CD Projekt Red's is a matter of debate, but it is clear that The Witcher show took at least some of Cavill's look from the game franchise. Princess Cirilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon, or Ciri for short, is an integral character in The Witcher. She is not only Geralt's ward, but she is also a child of the Elder Blood, which gives her unbelievable powers. As fans witnessed in Season 2 of The Witcher, Ciri is only just beginning to discover her full potential, and she has a long way to go before getting her magical abilities under control. Ciri is played by Freya Allen in the Netflix series, and her look tries to closely copy the character's description in The Witcher novels. In the books, Ciri's hair is described as ashen-colored, and she has noticeably green eyes. As the Witcher game franchise takes place after the events of the books, Ciri's character doesn't make an appearance in the video games until The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. At this point in the timeline, Ciri is about 18 years old, several years older than Alan's portrayal of Ciri in the show. The character in The Witcher 3 maintains Ciri's white blonde hair and distinct green eyes, though she also has a long scar on her cheek and wears heavy eye makeup. Fans of the books will know that the scar has a story behind it, one that fans of the show will have to wait on. Few are more formidable in the Witcher world than Yennefer of Vengaberg, a young woman who comes from nothing. Her determination and strength make her one of the most powerful and dangerous mages on the continent. Yennefer is played by Anya Chilotra on the show, and like Yennefer of the books, Chilotra has long black hair. She wears contact lenses to match the sorceress's violet eyes, a trait that marks her elven heritage. We often see Yen wearing black and white clothing, the character's preferred color scheme in the novels. In The Witcher video games, Yennefer is first introduced in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. In that game's story, Geralt hasn't seen Yennefer in several years, since he regains his memory after a long bout of amnesia. The game version of Yennefer is a closer match to the character in the books. Her hair is still black, but it falls over her shoulders in a mass of dark curls. She also has violet-colored eyes and wears her trademark black and white attire. The video game Yennefer appears to be some years older than Chilotra, yet like Geralt, age doesn't mean much when you are practically immortal. Whatever fans think Yennefer should look like, no one can argue that Yennefer of Vengaberg is a force to be reckoned with in any medium. Guys, your harmonies were a little pitchy. Gordon? You're amazing. Talent recognizes talent. Let's go again. An undeniable fan favorite, Yaskir is Geralt's loyal friend and sidekick on the Netflix TV series. Not only does he provide comic relief, but he gives audiences a catchy earworm with Toss a Coin to Your Witcher in Season 1. Toss a coin to your witcher, oh valley of plenty, whoa. Following that hit tune was his emotional ballad Burn Butcher Burn in Season 2, which recalls epic breakup songs like Alanis Morissette's You Oughta Know. Played by Joey Beatty, Yaskir's appearance changes slightly between Seasons 1 and 2 of The Witcher. In Season 1, Beatty keeps his dark brown hair cut short, and his clothes vary in color and style. When we see Yaskir in Season 2, he now sports a long coat and his hair is a bit longer. He also wears a stylish leather cap when he performs in Season 2 episode, Redanian Intelligence. Yaskir is called Dandelion in the English language versions of The Witcher books and video games. Dandelion appears in all three games, and his looks often change. However, most gamers are familiar with Dandelion's look in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, where he wears a colorful jerkin with a matching pink hat and feather. He also has dark brown hair, as well as a mustache and goatee. 
Sorceress Triss Marigold is a friend to both Yennefer and Geralt in The Witcher. Like Yennefer, Triss was taught how to use magic at the Tower of Eratusa, and she later became an advisor to King Foltest of Temeria. In Season 1 of The Witcher, Triss has shoulder-length curly brown hair. This is more accurate to the character of Triss in the novels, who is described as having chestnut-colored hair. However, Triss in the video games is a very striking redhead. This might be the reason why when we see Triss again in The Witcher Season 2, her hair has been tinted red. Triss Marigold plays a big part in the Witcher video game series and is a primary romance option for Geralt. No, no more about the battle. Just hold me and say something nice. While Geralt makes it clear that he only sees Triss as a friend in Season 2 of The Witcher show, he and Triss are very intimate in The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings video game. Triss is also featured in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, and Geralt is forced to choose between her and his long-lost love Yennefer. Though Triss may be competition for Geralt's affections in the games, in the Netflix series, Geralt only has eyes for Yen. In Season 2 of The Witcher, Geralt travels with Ciri to Kaer Morhen, the home of the Witchers. It was here that the show introduces fans to Vesemir, the patriarch of the group. Wolf, you're home. Finally. Vesemir leads the last of the remaining Witchers and is a father figure to Geralt. He is charged with protecting what remains of Kaer Morhen and looking after the younger Witchers. Sadly, their numbers are dwindling, and they currently have no way to bring more into the fold, which is a big concern for Vesemir. Vesemir in the show is played by Kim Bodnia, and it's uncanny just how much he looks like Vesemir in the original The Witcher game. Both have long white hair and a walrus mustache, although Vesemir of the game has a much more stern expression. The video game version of Vesemir also has small, piercing eyes that often look disapproving, while Bodnia's Vesemir has eyes that are much more open and kind. The two characters also appear to be about the same age. The treatment of the character Eskel has been a source of controversy for the Witcher fans. Eskel is one of Geralt's Witcher brothers at Kaer Morhen, and they train together as boys. As played by actor Basil Eidenbenz on the Netflix show, Eskel has long curly hair, a slim figure, and a scar on the right side of his face. Although Eskel in the Witcher games also has distinctive facial scarring, this is perhaps the only trait he shares with his TV show counterpart. In The Witcher and The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, Eskel has short, dark hair and a stocky, muscular build. His scars are also more prominent in the game version as they cover his eye, cheek, mouth, and chin. The differences between Eskel in the show and Eskel in the video games goes far beyond their physical appearances. In the Season 2 episode Kaer Morhen, Eskel's character is attacked by a Leshy. He undergoes a transformation that turns him into a monster, and Geralt is forced to kill him. The death of the character caused an uproar with fans, but perhaps the biggest objection to the Netflix version of Eskel was the changes to his personality. In the games and books, Eskel is quiet, kind, and loyal, a far cry from the partying, aggressive, and hostile Witcher we meet in the show. Lambert, Lambert, what a jolly nice chap. Like Eskel, Lambert was raised by Vesemir alongside Geralt at Kaer Morhen. In the second episode of The Witcher, Season 2, he is introduced as a fun-loving storyteller and a fierce protector. He later encourages Ciri to push her limits while training by introducing her to a challenging obstacle course. Although he comes off as a bit harsh with Ciri at first, it's clear he has her best interests at heart. Paul Bullion plays Lambert in the Netflix series, and his appearance is quite different from the character in The Witcher games. In the show, Lambert has long, curly red hair and a full beard. Lambert in the game franchise has short, dark brown hair, a trim beard, and a scar that runs from his hairline down his cheek. Lambert's personality in the games is also quite different from how he is portrayed in the TV show. Lambert's character in the games is much grimmer and has a sarcastic streak. What? What are you doing? Killing monsters. <laughs> Good one. Nevertheless, Lambert is a fan favorite amongst gamers, so hopefully Bullion's representation will live up to their standards. In The Witcher Season 2, episode Redanian Intelligence, the series introduces fans to an intriguing new character. Sigismund Dijkstra is the head of Redania Spy Network and an advisor to King Visimir. His job is to keep tabs on the Elves and Nilfgaardians, who have allied against the Northern Kingdoms. He is played by Graham McTavish, who has a bald head, a full gray beard, and a muscular frame. In the video game, Dijkstra is bald, clean-shaven, and has a large build. He also appeared in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. He is one of four crime syndicate leaders in the city of Novigrad, and helps Geralt in his search for Ciri, though the two are anything but friends. Sorry, can't let that happen. Oh! Ah! 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 
McTavish shares some of the same physical traits as the game version of Dijkstra, yet there are clear differences in how he portrays the character. In the Witcher TV show, Dijkstra is underhanded and sly, while the version of the character in the game tends to rely on brute force to get things done. Though she only appears for a moment in the season 2 finale of The Witcher, the sorceress Philippa Eilhart makes quite an impression in that short time. Using the magical ability to shapeshift, Philippa spends most of her time in the form of an owl, going back and forth to relay messages between Dijkstra and his elven spy contact, Dara. Actor Cassie Clare plays Philippa on the Netflix show. She has long black hair, a striking figure, and wears an elegant gown decorated with feathers along the collar and shoulders. Philippa appears in The Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings, and The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. Her appearance is quite different from the character on the TV series. The game version of Philippa has long black hair that is styled into two braids, and she wears long feathers in her hair. Fans of the Witcher series may notice that Claire wears two small braids at the front of her hair, which is perhaps a tribute to the game version of Philippa. The finale of The Witcher Season 2 ends with a huge plot twist that leaves fans reeling. The true identity of the King of Nilfgaard, Amir Far Emrys. It turns out Amir is none other than Dooney, the young man who was helped by Geralt in Season 1. Fans will remember that Dooney is placed under a curse that turns him into a porcupine man-beast, and he crashes Queen Kalenthi's party to claim the hand of Princess Pavetta. When he is attacked by the Queen's soldiers, Geralt steps in to defend him. The curse is broken when Pavetta uses True Love's kiss to turn Dooney back to his human self. Dooney is the father of Ciri, yet what happened to him between his curse being broken and becoming the King of Nilfgaard is still a mystery. On the Netflix show, Amir is played by Bart Edwards, and his appearance is not all that different from Amir in The Witcher games. Both characters have long dark hair, though Edwards' hairstyle is wavy and wild, while Amir in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt wears his hair slicked back and straight. The game version of Amir is also much older than the character on the show, mainly because the game's events take place many years after the story in The Witcher books. Now that Amir's identity has been disclosed, fans can bet that he will have a big part to play in the future of The Witcher Netflix series. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about The Witcher are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.